Welcome all, Papa G here. Today I present low carb festive eggnog. Now you can enjoy this classic holiday beverage without any guilt. It's just as delicious as the high carb version, but only has a fraction of the carbs and sugars. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a comparison of the macros of my eggnog recipe versus a popular store-bought version. Notice that the serving sizes are different. We'll change that so they're equal. Now with equal servings you'll see just how beneficial it is to make your own eggnog rather than buy it pre-made with all that sugar. My version is very easy to make. Let me show you how. We'll start by placing eight egg yolks in a mixing bowl and whisk until they're nice and creamy. For this recipe we won't be using the egg whites but save them. I'll have a recipe idea for those in a future video. To the yolks whisk in a granulated sugar substitute equal to one cup of regular sugar. Whisk until everything is fully mixed then set aside. With the heat still turned off add two cups of cold almond milk to a sauce pot, two cups of heavy cream, some ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, about six to eight whole cloves, and we'll finish with just a bit of salt. Give that a mix with a whisk. Now add the sweetened egg yolks to the cold mixture and mix again with a whisk to combine. Turn the heat on and set to medium. Stir continuously while our eggnog begins to cook. I find this process much easier than tempering the egg mixture with a hot liquid. The key is to continue stirring as it slowly heats. It's not necessary but it helps to have a food thermometer here. We want to bring our mixture up slowly to between 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're not using a food thermometer you'll see it begin to steam as it reaches our desired temperature. Remember to keep stirring as it heats. This may take about 15 to 20 minutes. Once our eggnog is fully heated, turn off the heat. Strain the eggnog to remove the cloves as we transfer it to a chilled bowl or container. This will help it cool a bit quicker. Once it reaches room temperature, we'll add our final ingredients. Some vanilla extract, and about a half a cup of the spirit of your choice. I personally like spice rum for eggnog. Cover and chill in the refrigerator for at least two to three hours. When it's fully chilled, remove from the refrigerator and give it a good mix. Most all eggnogs require mixing before each serving, so to make things easier you may want to consider storing in a container that you can shake. Or do what I prefer. I like using a blender to mix it up. It seems to add a nice creamy froth to the top. Pour into a festive cup, garnish with a cinnamon stick, and a little nutmeg to the top, and enjoy. There you have it folks, my low carb festive eggnog, a very keto friendly version of a great holiday classic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing. I'll have something new every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.